This is Hart, and I'm in uh, Tom Sawyer Park with Jody Thompson. We're, we're going to make a couple of observations about this little field here that's near the pollinator meadow, but it's close to the creek, so it's in between the pollinator meadow and the creek. One thing we, we see around here is catalpa, uh, catalpa trees. We see Virginia creeper, and I'm noticing that, okay, there's this list on the wildonesliveville.org website uh, about what to plant, and the most important plants are the ones, in my opinion, the ones that uh, support the most species of butterflies and moths. Uh, if, we could, uh, if we could focus on planting the top 100 everywhere, we would be in really good shape. So Virginia creeper is a vine that's number 49 on the list. Catalpa is, I think, number 92 on the list, and it supports nine species of butterflies and moths. Very important in the decision-making process. And uh, Jody had some more observations about some of these plants. Well, one of the things that we see right behind us is the trunk of a northern catalpa. And for those of you not familiar with the northern catalpa, it's a large tree. Um, it's, uh, it's a host species for catalpa worms, as for those fishing enthusiasts out there. Uh, it has great ornamental qualities. It likes moist soil. Sometimes it'll do okay in uh, drier habitats, but it's a great landscape tree if you have room for large trees uh, has a large large uh, inflorescence white to creamy white with uh, large tubular flowers and in the springtime uh, it puts on a great show for a healthy tree it flowers very heavily and I believe that this one um, the flowers are already spent so are a little past but um, if you can educate yourselves about this tree Maybe look around, you'll probably see one in your own environment, maybe your own neighborhood. Uh, look one up online, and maybe it's something you consider planting in your own, in your own uh, landscape.